Hey everybody, Chance Priest here, Priest Toy Safari, episode 25. All right, uh, I'm supposed to do this at the first, every one of them. So, uh, if you want to see the toys we make, which are really, really cool, you have to wrap your head around them though. Uh, Victory Comics LLC on Instagram, Victory Comics LLC on YouTube for these videos, and we're working on getting them all up there, and even more, and we're gonna do a YouTube video giveaway deal that's gonna be connected to all of them this weekend. I really don't know how, but I'm figuring it all out. Um, I just picked a random tub. I didn't even open the lid. I just saw some cool stuff hanging out of it, and I said, hey, it's a winner. It's a winner. So uh, for 25, episode 25, we're gonna do a winner here. Anyway, uh, remember y'all, all this stuff is, uh, it's my personal collection, but shoot, I'd sell it, trade it, whatever, you know. A few things I probably just wouldn't, or you'd have to just give me some crazy price for it, but, you know, I give crazy prices for stuff all the time that I just want, and because I want it. I'm starting a timer because i got to keep these videos down. Soon I'll, I'll, I'll be a little better at this, but I just, just do it, whatever. Anyway, yes, my hands hurt. I explained that in episode 23. So anyway, praying man is kung fu. Anyway, uh, so, uh, so anyway, so this is a pretty cool looking box, and I think it's going to have a little kaiju, little, little, just, shoot, I don't know. Anyway, but anyway, let's get on it. We'll get on it. Uh, so I'm going to grab, oh, this is beautiful right off the bat. This is a beautiful, uh, um, Goldar, you know, Ambassador Magma. And, uh, I get, it's a model kit. That somebody put together and painted did a really good job on I don't know I didn't do it I'm fully capable but I didn't do it I've had it I've had this thing for years I remember it I, at least 15 years ago being up you know in the in the case full of stuff uh, so anyway here is uh, here is a Sinclair dinosaur blue there you go uh, those are old here is a, I got a lot of dinosaur fans out there that people love them dinosaurs. Uh, that's a wax dinosaur. Oh, it's Sinclair. Yeah, Brontosaurus. There it is. Anyway, that's cool, right? Um, let's go back to something everybody's going to love. That is freaking awesome, right? Okay. Uh, that is Ogon Bat, Golden Bat. Phantom Man, I mean, whatever you want to call him. He goes back to the 50s in Japan, and they had, like, comic books, and there was a killer movie, and I think there was TV shows. I don't know. I have some of them on disc. If you ain't watched them, watch them. They're really cool. He's really awesome. He's a superhero. That is an old blow mold. There, he's nothing. He's not a, well, uh, he, uh, God, you know, you pray like you don't hurt something. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe that was to squirt water out. But he, nobody scored at him. He's in such great shape. I cannot break something on film. That would just be the worst. But I don't edit, y'all. I never edit nothing. If something bad happens, we just roll with it. You know, I mean, what bad could happen? You know, break a toy, I guess that's pretty bad, bad as it gets. But anyway, that old gone bat, that, you know, golden bat, whatever you want to call him, he's awesome. Okay, here's a vinyl. It's legit. It's not a KO. It's a uh, Star Zinger. I think Starzinger, Starzinger, I mean, anyway, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about that show. It's one of those, you know, I watched Star Blazers a lot as a kid, you know, we'll fight the distant game along, but, yeah, anyway, I like that show. Anyway, uh, this is kind of like it, because I've seen parts of it, but, anyway, I can't remember. I see so much, you know, see so much, do so much. Anyway, uh, this guy here, this guy here, y'all can help me with. Okay, I've had this vinyl. I don't think he's marked at all. Unless he's on the legs. I got my old man glasses here. I say that. You know, I gotta have glasses. I, I can't do nothing about it, but uh, uh, I really don't need them like all the time. I just need them to get up close. So, uh, anyway, I don't know. I turned 44 in a few days and uh, things ain't what they used to be. Nowhere. Anyway, uh, although I started, one of you buddies out there, Seth, 
told me, hey man, use some uh, ginseng and 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 use some uh, uh, apple cider vinegar and stuff. I, I've been using it, freaking like tons of energy, tons of energy. I haven't taken a nap in days, and that's unusual. Usually, I like to hit a little thirty minute shot in the middle of the day, but um, yeah, stuff's good. Anyway, gotta get back on it. Did I start my timer? Yes, I did. Aha. Okay, anyway, y'all know what that vinyl is. He's almost clear. I mean, he's a bit transparent, but that is so freaking cool. I don't know, you know. I, don't matter where I'm at, I'll buy something I love and, uh, you know, I buy it buy because I love it and I don't worry about it. I don't have to know what it is or what it goes to. I was just talking to a guy earlier about Mad Balls. I have Mad Balls everywhere in boxes everywhere. I couldn't tell you the value of one Mad Ball. I don't know. And I've probably give a bunch for some of them because I just, like I'll see them on eBay or something, I'll just bid them up because I want them. And, you know, now not really, I hadn't bid on many lately, but you know, but you know, if you, if you want it, see it, like it, whatever, see it, like it, want it, whatever. Anyway, um, so anyway, this dude's cool. Oh, this guy's Mark though. Uh, well, he's a kidder. So anyway, I'm showing y'all something that this is probably common. Anyway, well, here's a knockoff because I I I, I look I saw his back, and he's got the old uh, oh my hand, uh, got the old uh, um, the old uh, stormtrooper, you know. When I was a little kid, I thought that said oil. <laughs> anyway, got it. I don't know what that goes to, but anyway, Chap May or whatever. I don't know. So he's cool, freaking awesome. Oh, how about some Sofubi action? And this dude rocks my world. I mean, um. This is high toy art. Talk about toy masterpieces. This is one of them right here, people. Look at that. That's Black Satan. Right? Black Satan. There's all these Satans over there. And I think he's Black Satan. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, he's Satan something. But uh, anyway, he's a marmot. And uh, 2006 marmot. But he's awesome. Oh, oh. I love that. There's nothing bad about that. That 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 brightens your day right there. I mean, that's that's like the sun coming over the mountains, man. Um, let's see here. Uh, and I got I got like odd and in stuff. Oh, look at there, look at there. Uh, Arco Otherworld, freaking crazy toy line. If you don't have it, you're stupid. Go get it. It's awesome. Anyway, it is really awesome though. It is, it's awesome. Uh, uh, um, hey, Sinclair dinosaur. They look good though, y'all. And stuff like this, it's you know inexpensive. They make a million different colors, so you can really collect a bunch. But you know they're from the '60s, or you know they're they're like waxy figures. They're cool, man. I've had them had them when I was a kid, you know, just to play with. But um, and they were old back then. Uh. There is a wind up. Um, sounds like his winding days have been better. He might need a little Earl <laughs> oil. Uh, <laughs> anyway, check it out. Oh, oh careful, careful. Uh, oh, he's got a lock. There it is. He don't need nothing. He's rolling. That's all, yo, yo, man, that's awesome. Fire breathing monster from Japan. That's vintage. That's old stuff. Anyway, he's beautiful. He's got. Uh, beautiful paint. There is an old uh, Mego Batman. He's bendy. He's never been bent, I can tell you that. He's beautiful. Um, oh, here we go. Arco Otherworld again. Oh, that's my favorite one, y'all. This thing is nuts. That's, that's dead mint. That's like right out of it. You know, I think that actually did fall out of a package and I kept the package somewhere. You know, you know those packages, the dang, uh, the bubbles, the glue pops on them. And, you know, no reason, just age, you know. That's why everybody gets all hung up, like, oh, is that bubble lifting a little bit there? Yeah, I know, I know, AFA and all that stuff like that. But, dude, you're going to have a you're gonna have a deal that says AFA 85 or 90 or whatever, and it don't matter, time's time. You're going to look in there one day, and the bubble's going to pop off, and what do you got, you know? Ain't no, everybody's gonna be like, uh-huh. It wasn't like that when AFA graded it. And then you, you know, you got nothing. 
Oh, this is cool. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me what these go to. Again, I buy stuff that I like. Anyway, it's a Mad Balls, right? It looks like a stopper for a bottle or something. But anyway, it probably goes to some bigger piece that I don't know nothing about. But anyway, I, I know I've always had it on the shelf just like that. And I love it. I had another one I sold this year. It was from Japan. He had little springy arms. And uh guy bought them. And it took me forever to find it, too. But it was it was a real sadness making seeing that thing go away. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What is this? There, see, look at their cool little bag of Marvel figures, figure factory. You know, I don't care. I love them. I love Marvel. I love Marvel movies. I, I like DC stuff too. I like DC. Well, I won't say I like DC movies, but anyway, they're not all that hot. Wonder Woman was freaking awesome. Um, there is a little Godzilla. I'm not gonna do this because I'll break my camera. When you punch that little deal in the back, he has a marble in there and it shoots out and it shoots out hard. I remember that thing because I actually shot it out and almost broke my cabinet one time. Bunch of little models, little wind up models of, of uh, uh, Ultraman guys. There is, a, uh, there is a Godzilla one, little model. They got some dust on them because they were on a, I guess one of my shelves that didn't have a, um, didn't have a case. Oh, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, this sucks. See, this is what happens when you store stuff too long. I got a, a I can't remember his name. He fights Godzilla in one of the newer movies. Is it, um, Destroyer. But see, his little, his little wing broke. See, now it's got to be permanently glued on there. You know what I do? If I have to do that, I drill it with a little, little a little drill bit. And, and then I'll drill a little here, and then I'll take a little piece of metal rod, and then I'll do it. And man, it, it like solidifies it good, you know? So anyway, these are something I've, I've been wanting to show y'all forever because a guy made those, and who I, I, as far as I know, that guy is out there right now. But these are customs, and, and I'm pretty critical of customs in general. Like I'm like really look them over, and I want to see that they look like really professional. This guy did the best job. Um, and he gave you a piece of artwork with it too. And uh, I don't, I can't even remember his name. I don't guess he signed him, but anyway, that's some kind of snake man. But dude, I mean, it, it, it absolutely feels and looks like it was 100% made that way. You know, there's nothing that feels like, oh, some guy did that. I mean, it looks like you got a, just a high grade, you know, piece of toy art. It's really, they're, they're really nice. Anyway, I don't know who that's supposed to be. Some kind of snake man, some elongated snake man that I don't know about. Maybe it's in the comics or something. But uh, anyway, you know, I love Masters of the Universe. Anything do with that. Oh, and they all have backdrops and stuff like that, but I'm not going to show you all those because it's too hard to get up. But everybody remembers uh, Dragon Riders of the Sticks, right? Check it out, y'all. Check this out. This is, uh, this is so freaking cool. It's a, uh, What's he called? Gula, 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 Gula. Anyway, anyway, the blue dude that has the horn helmet. Anyway, look how cool that is. And I don't mean this thing ain't all statued out and you don't feel like putty. And so, I mean, it's like legit. I mean, this, this guy was awesome who did these. Anyway, anybody that did that good, he's probably working for a toy company or he's still doing like his own to art toys or whatever. He's good. But anyway, I bought these probably, you know, 10 plus years ago. You know, there's another Dragon Riders of the Sticks, guys. And I love Dragon Riders of the Sticks, so I really think these guys are awesome. It, I mean, it, it, these things are flexible. I mean, it's like it's like they're, I don't know how he did it, you know. I mean, maybe he re-sculpted and cast like like I do, you know. And uh, But, you know, but a lot of customs, it look like somebody, you know, just stuck something on there. I mean, y'all. I know there's great custom guys out there that, are, that do a killer job, but I'm just saying, you know, you can get a hold of some rough ones, too. Anyway, that uh, that dude is um, is really, really good. And, uh, you know, uh, but those, I thought, just thought it was so cool that they, he did, uh, Dragon Riders of the Sticks customs. So, because there's not much to, you know, there's nothing big, Dragon Riders of the Sticks. This is cool because everybody kn knows, we all had these. If you grew up in the eighties, you had a Manglore because, and there's a big back, there's a big back scene that goes to him, but that is a really killer Manglore custom. Mm. Isn't that, isn't that freaking awesome? I just love that. And the background is like, it's like, I mean, it's, I got it all. 
it's like all swamped out, but I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's really cool. Anyway, I wish I, could, I wish I knew this guy's name, but I can't remember the stuff that far back. Anyway, and, and let's get down to business. Let's get down to business with some true blue, super duper custom stuff that'll cross over into our kaiju. Shoot, I ain't even gonna put it together. Anyway, you get the picture, but Ogon Bat. Look at that. Got his staff, the whole nine yards. Is that killer or what? That's killer. It's freaking awesome. Anyway, I think it is. I think it just really rocks. But uh, anyway, ah, yeah. Maybe I get off so much of this stuff because I've seen the shows or, you know, I've been collecting it so long. But, man, you just get a little bit into it. It'll just drive you nuts. There's so much. You know, you'll be like Kaiju one day, knockoffs the other next day, He-Man stuff. I mean, I have every He-Man guy ever. And I've, I've had all of them and sold, so, like, the real expensive ones. But I've got, like, all of them except for the two biggies now. And, um, uh, but, I mean, you know, you got to stretch out. you got to stretch out and get a, oh, time's up, 15 minutes. Anyway. There's uh, one more of those uh, dinosaurs for my dinosaur folks out there. And I think that's, I mean, the rest of the stuff's you know, just like accessories to the other stuff. So anyway, anyway, cool. Anyway, we got all that done. And, uh, oh, there's uh, a sword, to one of those customs. I mean, this guy just did them up right. Anyway, cool. So uh, I'm going to do a priest toy masterpiece video here in a second. Be right back.